Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to discuss pain that you feel over the front of the knee or anterior knee pain that you can get from weightlifting or jumping activities or even the combination of that like you get in CrossFit. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from sportsinjuryphysio.com where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment for your injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want to link to our website. Okay, so the pain that you feel over the front of the knee from either doing weightlifting or jumping and hopping activities is mainly usually due to two, one of two reasons. And it's quite important to distinguish between the two because the treatment for them are quite different. So the first is that it can be coming from your kneecap or your patellofemoral joint. Now the kneecap is the, um, the knobbly bit that you feel over the front of the knee there. And if you have your, your knee totally relaxed, you can move it from side to side. The kneecap has a cartilage, is a joint. So between the, the kneecap and your bones at the bottom, it forms a joint and it's, it's lined with cartilage. And if you do a lot of deep squatting, especially with weight, um, that cartilage underside can become irritated and sore, especially if you, if you um, do a lot of it or a lot more than what you used to, or you don't allow it to recover enough. Also, if your squat technique isn't that great and it's moving in, um, well, squat, lunge, anything that bends the knee really, and your legs don't quite move in a good pattern, that can cause it also to become irritated. Now, the other thing that can cause pain in that area is the patella tendon. So the patella tendon runs from your kneecap. So if you can feel the bottom point of your kneecap, it's the tendon that you can feel there that runs and attaches to this part of your um, tibia. So if you go over that, you can feel that nice thick tendon there. And usually, if it's the tendon that's painful, you'll often find if you really press firmly on it where it attaches to the kneecap, that's where it's most commonly injured. But it can be in the middle and it can also be lower down that it gets injured. So how do you know which one have you injured? Is it the kneecap or is it that tendon? The first thing that you can um, that can usually tell you is if your pain moves around. So sometimes the pain is more on this side, sometimes the pain is more on that side. It feels as if it's inside. You can't really find something to press on that makes it hurt. That is usually when it's more the kneecap. Um, if, however, the pain is very much below in this area and you can actually find a tender spot to, to push on, it is very much more likely that it's the tendon that you've injured. Um, both of these do not like stretching. So doing a quad stretch type thing will often aggravate it. Even if it's not in the moment, it may be later on. Both of them can hurt when you do deep squats. But the big difference is where you feel that pain. Now, how do you get it better? In all honesty, it's, it's the first bit is very similar. It's relative rest is the first step towards that. So you've got to cut out all activities that causes it to be aggravated. Now, sometimes it doesn't mean you've got to stop all of it. It's just that you adjust it. So for instance, if we think of adjustments that could work is that you limit the range of motion of where you squat. So the kneecap specifically, the lower down you squat, the more it compresses against the other bones and the more uncomfortable it will get. Something else that you can do is you can reduce the weight dramatically until you find that sweet spot of weight that doesn't aggravate the pain that you get. And remember, it's not just pain that you feel in the moment because specifically for tendons, you often don't feel pain while you're training. It's the next morning when you wake up that you go, oh, my knee is now stiff. That's another telltale sign that it's your knee. So you've got to get that relative rest right in that do not put loads through it that causes it to hurt more. Um, rest it if it needs rest, but often it doesn't need total rest. And that's where somebody can help you to decide what is right there. But it needs that to recover. Then you've got to look at why did this develop? Was it that you overloaded it in one session by just doing too much in that one session? Or was it actually that you didn't allow enough recovery between sessions or maybe over several weeks because you've got to change that so that you don't make that same mistake and then you've got to slowly strengthen it back up so that may mean that you start with just body weight exercises first now if it is the patella tendon you'll notice if you google it on the internet there are things like decline squats you can do there's all sorts of ways to load that tendon to get it stronger but 
make sure that you know whether it's the patella tendon or the kneecap causing your pain because like for instance a decline squat can really aggravate the kneecap because it will put more pressure through that anterior portion of the knee which includes the kneecap so i would say to decide what exercise is best definitely work somebody to decide on that so to recap most common cause for anterior knee pain is either patella tendinopathy or the kneecap itself patellofemoral syndrome and to get it better it's relative rest so you've got to reduce the activity so that the body can recover but then at the same time identify what level of strength training and activity you can do that does not cause your symptoms to flare in the 24 hours afterwards and start there and slowly increase from there excellent if you need more help with an injury you're welcome to consult one of us via video call remember that the link to the website is in the description of this video take care